Greetings and salutations. During this presentation, we'll be learning about the Protestant Reformation. At its conclusion, you should be able to explain why Martin Luther was opposed to the sale of indulgences and compare and contrast Catholicism with Protestantism. During the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church became increasingly plagued by corruption. Some priests called for reform. One of these priests was a German man named Martin Luther. He became especially upset when another priest named Johann Tetzel started selling indulgences in the town of Wittenberg. Selling indulgences allowed priests to trade forgiveness for money. You could even buy forgiveness for sins you hadn't committed yet and buy forgiveness for people who had already died. The church claimed that buying indulgences was a form of charity and that giving to charity was needed to get into heaven. Oftentimes, the money collected was not used for what was claimed. Luther saw this, along with some other stuff, as abuses of the faith. Personally, he believed that you got into heaven or achieved salvation by faith alone, and that charity had nothing to do with it. So he compiled a list of 95 things that he thought were wrong with the church, and he nailed it to the church door. These collectively became known as the 95 Theses. What began as a simple call for reform soon became something much more. Due to the inventing of the printing press, Luther's ideas spread rapidly, even getting as far as the Pope. The Pope was none too pleased to have one of his own priests rabble-rousing and excommunicated Luther. And Luther responded in kind by saying that the Pope was the Antichrist. Luther was kidnapped, put on trial, and had to defend his ideas. Soon it was less about reform, and a whole new religion was created around Luther's ideas. This marks the beginning of the Protestant line of the Christian faith. Protestant is related to the word protest, and the first Protestant religion is Lutheranism. Both Lutherans and Catholics believe in the teachings of Jesus Christ and base those beliefs on the Bible. Catholics, however, recognize the authority of the Pope and believe that good deeds, like charity, which is what they claimed indulgences were, are necessary for salvation. Salvation means getting into heaven. Protestants do not accept the authority of the Pope, mostly because the Pope had told Luther to go to hell, that's what excommunication means, and they believe that faith alone gets you into heaven. Remember, indulgences were charity, and Lutherans didn't like indulgences. For the remainder of this video, we're going to look at the spread of Protestantism throughout Europe. John Calvin was a Frenchman who was forced to relocate to Switzerland after he converted to Protestantism because, at the time, Protestants weren't very welcome in France. Soon after he leaves France, in 1536 to be exact, he publishes a book titled Institutes of the Christian Religion, which is a summary of Protestant thought. This gave Calvin a reputation as a leader of Protestantism. In many areas, Calvin and Luther agreed. However, Calvin placed a greater emphasis on the all-powerful nature of God. As an extension of this idea, Calvin claimed that God already knew who would be allowed into heaven because he was all-knowing. This idea became known as predestination, or the eternal decree. Calvinism, as it became known, was characterized by its followers' firm conviction that they were doing God's work here on earth. By the mid-16th century, Calvinism had replaced Lutheranism as the main branch of Protestantism. Luther's ideas also spread to England. When King Henry VIII saw it politically convenient to break with the Catholic Church, despite the fact that he really didn't agree with any of Luther's theology or the reasons behind his religion. Henry VIII had married Catherine of Aragon and was unhappy when she gave birth to a daughter and couldn't give him a son. So he asked the church to annul their marriage, and the church said no. 
Unwilling to accept no for an answer, Henry broke from the church and decided to create his own church, the Church of England, and appointed himself as its head instead of the Pope, and then told himself that he could annul and divorce his wife if he wanted to, and tried again with a lady named Anne Boleyn, and again he was given a daughter. This time, Henry's reaction was a little bit more severe. He killed Anne Boleyn when she couldn't produce a male heir and married one of her attendant girls, a lady named Jane Seymour, who eventually did give him a son named Edward. Edward, however, was a sickly child, and even though he did take over the throne once his father died, he himself died by the age of 15, and that's where things get a little wonky or weird. Mary, Henry's first daughter, was raised Catholic by his first wife, and she did not like Protestants. So Queen Mary, or Bloody Mary as she was called, executed people simply for being Protestant, despite the fact that most people in England were Protestant. When Mary died, she was also unable to produce an heir. So Henry's other daughter, Elizabeth, came to power, and Elizabeth had grown up Protestant, and that changed things yet again. This map shows the major religions in Europe at about 1600. The yellow on the map represents the Roman Catholics. Those are going to be the people who follow the Pope. The green on the map represents the Anglicans, or those that fell into the Church of England. They're going to be led by King Henry and his children. The blue on the map represents those who fell into Lutheranism and followed Luther's beliefs, while the pink represent those who subscribe to the beliefs of Calvin. Now it's time to check for your understanding. First, why did Martin Luther disagree with the sale of indulgences, and what did he do as a result? And finally, what were some of the major differences between Catholicism and Protestantism, and how were they alike?